hello guys welcome to expert Tester academy today we're going into civil 3d tutorial and we're gonna see a bit about uh, alignments in the previous tutorial we saw how to quickly create an alignment and today we're gonna go a bit in depth and then see a bit more little tricks that's hidden within alignment tool all right let's get going so now um, the first thing that we're looking at here is uh, a simple surface you can get this from the exercise file or you can create any simple surface and uh, we can move from there so make sure that you have your tool space turned on so as i said if you're working within civil 3d space make sure the tool space is always turned on because it's not only for creation and managing your existing assets it also gives you an update when something is out of date so which is which is really cool um so so you have four tabs in here the prospector settings survey and toolbox the prospector is a tab we're going to be doing most of our work and designs pretty much all right so before we get into alignments make sure that your surface is here and your surface is set to contour styles the contour styles is, is really good for designing and use your triangle style for editing so now we got your surface here under the home tab uh, we got alignments I'm gonna click on alignments I'm gonna click on alignment creation tools so this is similar process like what we did before so we're going to give it a name so let's say i'm going to be m1 road alignment and it's going to be a central alignment and you can give a description and starting chainage you can set a starting chainage as well i'm going to leave this one to default the sites we have seen before i'm going to leave it to default and all of these options i'm going to leave it to default even the design criteria i'm going to leave it to default click ok so you get a flyer toolbar so the flyer toolbar goes from left to right. The simple one's gonna be on the left side and more complex one will be on the right side. And uh, so we'll start with the leftmost one, so which is creating an alignment. You got two options, tangent, tangent, no curves, and tangent, tangent with curves. And obviously we see, uh, we have seen how to set the curve and spiral settings. So typically, uh, you know, if you're not using spirals, you can turn them off and then you know you can go and create an alignment so last time we have seen how to create these alignments i'm just going to create um alignment and then we'll see how to use the rest of the tools so i'm going to choose standard tangent tangent with curves so click 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 here we go so we got tangent uh, straights pretty much and then we got the curves in here so the curve radius depends on what is a curve minimum curve radius you've set it up here so i've set it to 200 so it's going to have a big wider curve and uh, if you wanted more narrower curves you can set the minimum radius to some smaller values all right so once you got the al alignment here so now i'm just going to snoop into the alignment object as such now if you see um so far everything that we have seen the point surfaces everything that we have seen uh, they're all one single object if you see even though let's say the surface has got major contours and minor contours but the surface as such is actually one single object and then the same thing goes for the points as well when we have points on the screen so the point markers and the point labels are together as one object so with with the alignment if you see if i select the alignment the labels don't get selected so now what happens is um, from alignment onwards the labels have something called label groups so that means you can have multiple labels within one single object alignment uh, not just for alignment for other objects some of the other objects as such as profiles and sections as well so from alignment onwards these objects have something called label group now let's say if i select this particular label and on the header you see there is an option that says edit label group when you click on it it takes you to the box where you can actually see all the labels that's been added into your alignment so now you can actually choose a whole bunch of other labels and you can add it to your uh, alignment and you get to see it, all of them here so now if you want to edit those particular labels all you have to do is you can go into the label group properties and then you see all these labels that's added you can click on them and you can edit those ones so we will see a separate tutorial on how to edit alignment labels okay so so that's your alignment object and that's your label so now how do we move the alignment now select your alignment and you see the grips up here you can use the grips to move your alignment and then how these grips up here on the curves this lets you adjust the curve so if you want a bigger curve smaller curve and uh, so you can pretty much use these grips to adjust them and similarly if you want to move this point you can move this point as well and um, so so the same thing goes for the all the other nodes as well so now 
the labels so now when you select a label this label is sort of similar to what you have done with your point label styles so now with this one you get a grip here and using that you can actually move your label uh, to a different location and then you get further grips here you can move it and then you can add nodes you can delete nodes and uh, some of the other things we can also try is toggle label pin so that way uh, toggle label pin sorry guys the toggle label pin i think it comes only for some of the labels but not for this one bit strange um but i yeah sorry it's up here for some reason the toggle label pin doesn't come on the 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 right click menu but it's on the header so you can see that up here so you can click on this one and then you can toggle the label pin so that means when you move your alignment your label sticks to that location so it doesn't move um and then uh, we got a whole bunch of other tools right up here and uh, these are the alignment editing tools and we will see them in another tutorial how to edit alignments using these tools these are really cool and another one is um, so this one at the end of it is actually the alignment grid view so what it does is it actually shows all the entities of your sub entities of your alignment into sort of like an excel like view so that way you can see the line curve line curve on all these objects and then you can see the starting point ending point the length and the curve radius if you want to adjust to a specific value and you can adjust it as well so that's the length of the curve and that's the radius of the curve let's say instead of 200 i wanted 150 i can change it so you can do that and you got the starting station end station and the angle and the chord length a lot of these values you can adjust it right from the uh, alignment grid view so and we still got a lot more to go with alignments that's a pretty big chapter um thanks for watching guys we'll continue with the next chapter with more tools on how to edit alignments and stuff thank you so